Here we have Misty Blue on the flying saucer wheel and that's because my little girls will not sit still and they will constantly distract me and I don't want to be distracted during this video because the subject is, is quite serious and if you saw my other video, Time to Say Goodbye, I did talk a bit about euthanasia and the emotional effect of losing a rat. I get lots of people contact me because they are absolutely devastated that they've lost their rat and that is the way you should expect to feel because you've formed an emotional bond with your rat and rats are not just rats, they're not just pets, they are part of your family. That is the way it is meant to be and whenever you have an animal that is part of your family you're going to feel the loss really badly. If you don't have if you don't feel sad, you didn't have the emotional bond that you should have had. So it's to be expected and it is horrible and it will take a long time for that to get better. Don't expect to feel better in a few days or a few weeks. It it could take months and months and you're never going to forget your rat. You never forget the ones you've lost. And of course you've got your memories, your videos and your pictures to help you. And with time the sadness will leave you and you will start to remember the happy times. But meanwhile it's good to talk to other people who understand the way you feel. People who've kept rats. Sometimes you can get grief counsellors for animals, especially through cremation services. Quite often there will be somebody at the company that organises cremations who is actually a pet grief counsellor and they can be enormously helpful to you because they see this so often. You shouldn't be ashamed or worried about the way you feel. So you need to be nice to yourself and not rush into anything in the next few days or weeks. Don't sort of um, start to panic and think, oh I have a lone rat or I can't do this again why am I doing this because those thoughts are perfectly natural and every single time I lose a rat I say to everybody I can't do this why am I putting myself through this I can't handle this anymore and until recently I've always um, you know rushed out and got more rats because I cannot bear to have empty cage syndrome but fortunately for the last few years my cages have all been full so I haven't been faced with empty cage syndrome but it's a horrible horrible thing at some stage you will be left with it, just one rat or no rats and then you have decisions to make but it's very important not to rush anything at all to take your time and during the healing process you need to actually look after yourself physically and mentally you need to eat, you need to sleep, you need to get fresh air and just do everything you can to to make yourself feel better. It's going to little treats, the things that make you happy. So whether it's curling up and watching a film or, or you know reading a book, try and do things to distract yourself for a little while. The thoughts will come flooding back into your head, but that is just part of the natural grieving process. So be kind to yourself. If nobody at home understands you, then you need to rely on your, your rat friends from your rat groups, your online rat communities. And there are plenty of people out there who will be happy to talk to you and listen to you. So don't feel you have to hide the way you're feeling. Just talk to somebody. Now, another dilemma that people often face is the lone rat. So at some stage, this is bound to happen. If you've had a group of rats and they're very old, don't feel, if, if you're going to give up keeping rats because you really can't do it anymore or your commitments don't allow you the time, then don't feel you have to rush out and get another rat as company for a very old rat. If your rat has maybe just a, a couple of months to live, then you see how that rat is going on his own or her own. Give them lots and lots of attention. Don't, whatever you do, don't change their routines. Just... Well, apart from giving them extra attention, but just try to keep their basic routines and food, give them a few extra treats, but try not to let them put on too much weight because this is always a problem when you have a lone rat, you might overcompensate, and especially if they're not very active, you don't want them to put on too much weight. So some little healthy treats, and especially in the first few days, spoil them a lot, but you must overcompensate with time because the rat is going to be very, very lonely. But 
you know, it's, it's a mistake to rush out when you've got old rats and, and can immediately get some more babies unless you want to continue keeping rats, in which case it's great. But don't feel bad if you've come to the end of your rat keeping days and your rat is very old. Now, if you have young and to middle aged rats, then yes, they're going to need company and it is important. But again, give yourself a few days for everything to settle down and then you know, go and find a friend for them, or a, preferably a few friends, especially if you've got older rats. Don't just go and get one baby. Most good breeders won't just let you take one baby anyway. It's better for the babies to come to you in pairs or little groups, and then when your older rat does die, you're then not faced with the same problem of a lone rat, and the babies will settle better if you have two or three babies. Sometimes an older rat won't accept the babies as easily, if they're, especially if they're not well. So if they have poor health, think very carefully about rushing to introduce new babies to them. But, you know, rats, they are such an important part of your life if you're keeping rats. So you have to do the best thing you can for them. And another thing that I, I think people beat themselves up about, and I do it myself, is have I done everything I could for my rats? Now, if you've made mistakes and errors of judgment, then learn from those mistakes so you don't make the same mistakes again with future rats. If you know you've done everything you could, then that is all you can hope for, that you have done everything you could. You've explored all opportunities. Whatever you do, never leave a rat just to die in pain and suffering. It's extremely cruel. It is animal cruelty, so you are breaking the law if you leave a rat to die in pain for several days because you couldn't afford to. And I just that is an excuse that I hear so often and I have to chase people up and force them to go to the vet with their rats, especially um, through my charity work that I do. If I see someone who says, I can't afford to, I have to very firmly explain to them, it's your responsibility to care for that rat through their life and make provisions that you should always have a fund for your vet bills. If the unfortunate thing happens and say you've lost your job and you don't have much money, then there are charities that will help you. There is no excuse not to get medical care for your animals. So, you know, explore all opportunities. Um, if you know that you have done absolutely everything and your vet has done all they can, then if, no, if your rat is not responding to treatment and obviously is very unwell and you've tried all the medicines and the tests and everything that can be offered, then it's kinder to have them put to sleep at the vet's um, as you know, if you've seen my other video, I always insist on anaesthetic gas first to put the rats into a deep sleep before they have the, the injection for the euthanasia. I won't allow them just to have big needles stuck into them. It's, it's painful, it's cruel, it's very upsetting to the rats. So I won't have their last minutes be pain and fear and suffering. So, you know, you do what you have to do. You... If one vet won't help you, you can get a second opinion at another vet. You can do your research online. You can go to the vet armed with your research if your vet is not very knowledgeable on rat care. And just know that you've done everything that you possibly can. And if you have done everything you possibly can and all hope is lost, then euthanasia at the vets is the answer. So it is such a difficult situation to be in and it doesn't matter whether your rat is is young or very old you're going to feel bad you're always naturally going to wonder did I do everything that I could and I had this dilemma last year uh, with Pippin and I really it really traumatized me and after losing 19 rats in uh, three months I actually got physically unwell I was very depressed about Losing the rats all relatively young because my big rescue group had terrible health. But also I became physically unwell. And, um, you know, I got shingles and cellulitis. And it just really, really drags you down. So just take some comfort in knowing that you have given your rats a good life. And that you've done everything you could. 
and talk to people. Don't feel like you're the only person that is going through this because you're not. And with time, things will improve. Love the rats you do have left. Spend as much time as you can with them. And just, just know you're not alone.